A form of self-love for me is eating. Self-love starts with you guys. One of the 10 things that always makes me the happiest is making me some chocolate chip cookies, okay? Hey kittens, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I posted a poll last week that you guys answered. So today I'm gonna share 11 journal prompts for self-love. So grab your six ring binder, grab your notebook, grab all the stationery you need, and let's get started. So FYI kittens, these journal prompts are from a website called mentalstyleproject.com. So the first journal prompt is, when do you feel the happiest? So is this when you're hiking or maybe you're watching the sunrise? I know for me, y'all, I feel happiest when I'm eating, okay? A form of self-love for me is eating. Maybe you wanna think about different situations or being around certain people that really build you up and make you feel the happiest. So the next journal prompt is, what do you need the most right now and how can you feel that need? So is this a physical need? Maybe your body feels super tight and you need to stretch it or is it a spiritual need? Maybe you're lacking in that category and you wanna do more prayer. So think about the things that you need the most right now and how you can feel that need. So the next journal prompt is, what are three simple ways that you can love yourself every single day. So is this using positive self-talk? Is this using positive affirmations? Is this just appreciating your body more? So think about the three simple ways you can love yourself more every single day. And then the next journal prompt is, how can I give myself extra care today. So is this journaling? Is this listening to your body and just resting? So think about the different ways that you can give yourself extra care. So the next journal prompt is, what are 10 things that make you the happiest? So is it your favorite TV show? Or maybe it's being around people that are positive and that build you up. Maybe it's actually saying no or holding a boundary. I know for me, y'all, one of the 10 things that always makes me the happiest is making me some chocolate chip cookies, okay? So yes, think of 10 different things that make you the happiest. So the next journal prompt is, what do I need less of? So is this negativity? Is this being around them negative people? Is it scrolling on social media? Cause we ain't about to do that. Okay, we ain't going down that rabbit hole y'all. So think about the things that you need less of. So the next journal prompt is, what are things you need to stop doing that are making you unhappy? So is this not showing yourself enough grace? Is this comparing yourself to other people? Cause as my dad always tells me, all that glitters ain't gold y'all. So think about the things that you need to stop doing that are making you unhappy and try to figure out small steps that you can take in order to stop doing these things. So the next journal prompt is make a list of seven positive affirmations to look back to when you talk badly about yourself. So maybe a couple ones that you might want to add are I am valuable and I love who I see in the mirror. So think about some more positive affirmations that you can go back and reflect on whether you want to put them in your journal or your six string binder or put them up in places you see every day, maybe your bathroom mirror or maybe the fridge just to give you guys that positive reminder and to build your self-esteem back up. So the next journal prompt is, what do you think your biggest weakness is and how can you work on improving this? So is this being a people pleaser or maybe it's actually starting to take care of your mental health, which you can start by acknowledging that something may not be in a good place right now with your mental health. So think about your biggest weakness and please y'all do not guilt trip yourself. It is okay. We all struggle with something. Thank the Lord I have Jesus. Okay. Because he is my strength when I am weak. Think about what your biggest weakness is and how you can work on improving this without shaming yourself. So the next journal prompt is, what is in the way of your self-love? So is this fear? Is this being in your head too much with negative thoughts? Is it a bad habit of comparing yourself to other people? So try to figure out what is in the way of your self-love and how you can solve those different things. So the next journal prompt is, write down five things that made you smile today. So is it waking up to see a new day? 
Is it being around your favorite people? Is it being able to enjoy your favorite meal? So think about five different things that made you smile today. So kittens, keep in mind doing journal prompts, it can be a heavy process y'all. So please take your time with these. Feel free to do these as daily prompts so you can break them up into one journal prompt per day. Or if you wanna do all 11 journaling prompts together, that is completely fine kittens. But I just want you guys to keep in mind that self-love starts with you guys. So I want you guys to really build up how you see yourselves and the value that you see in yourself. And a part of doing that is by doing self-love journaling prompts. So not only does it help your mental health, but I'm hoping it'll also help you guys feel better about yourselves. So kittens, be sure to comment below a prompt that was your favorite from today's video. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet to be a part of the kitten family, be sure to do so below and hit the bell so you guys will receive post notifications of when I upload a new video. And I love you guys and thank you all so much for watching kittens. Adios.